All right, folks, listen, holiday time. I start thinking about like having a family. That's why I'm doing this here. Hey, let me just say it this way. Friends and family. Today, we're doing a biscuit, sausage, and gravy recipe. We finna level it up with a little vegetables, and we finna get it, folks. All right, so you guys can see it's a few ingredients, right? But nothing that we don't already keep at the house always. We always have eggs. We got seasoning. Only thing you might not have is like a, a heavy whipping cream. And listen, I got heavy whipping cream right here. But listen, you can use that with whole milk too. You know what I mean? I just happen to have both, so it's okay. Then I got, you know, bacon. Everybody has that. We probably keep a block of cheese because we know our shredded cheese melts better than what? That's right, than that pre-shredded cheese. And then this right here is going to do it. If you guys ain't never had these kind right here, these Pillsbury dough, look at these. Ah, yeah, this is it right here. Okay, look, as I stated earlier when we were going over the ingredients, you know, it's a few ingredients and we got to do a little bit of prep work, right? So obviously I shred my own, you know, my cheese, but right now you're looking at me just go ahead and doing the uh, red bell pepper and then I'm going to do the green bell pepper. You guys can dice them down any size you like. Doesn't make a difference. I like the larger size so that I can see a little bit of color at the end result. Okay, so we diced, we prepped. I did my onions, I did my onions just the other day. You know what I mean? Uh, so I keep them already diced, you know what I mean? Sometimes I perform on, on the camera. Now, we got that going. Now, we got a little bit of that bacon fat that's in there that was left in the pan, along with just a little bit of bacon on the bottom. And you know, we call that the fine, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my, my mild Italian sausage, drop that on here, peel this off like that, and I'm gonna leave that alone. All right, folks, so you wanna get yourself one of these meat mashers, right? So take this like this, and just start breaking it up. This makes it look a little bit more ground, you know what I mean? Not hard on your, cause everybody don't have a, a hex clad pots, right, and pans. So some people have the uh, non-stick pans, and they non-stick pans have that coating on there. So if you don't wanna knock that off and ingest it, which I think that might have something to do, we have these illnesses now. You know what I mean? Uh, you use this, and this can go in any type of a pan. You can scrape these right here. This doesn't scrape it or nothing. All right, so you can see we still have a little pink, right? I switched to my squares. I just love it. I use my meat masher to go ahead and mash everything down, and then I continue from here, right? You see that right there? That's not cooked. But right about the time when it's starting to become all cooked, I like to go ahead and add, I should have put my onions in first, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab these and put my bell peppers in now and just break these down a little bit just to soften them up just a little. All right? And immediately I'm coming with my onions. We want all of this to infuse together the bacon fat, right? I mean, we got bacon fat. Then we got that mild Italian sausage. Look at that right there. And then we take this and just start letting that steam break these down. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of my AP to it. Just a little bit. You can season here too. This just ensures that this right here is gonna be nice, folks. Now I'm using two different uh, seasonings of mine. I love my A. I'm gonna put that A, you know, on here also, just to get that gravy right. But look at that right there. This is what you wanna have. You wanna have this look, this infusion right here. I promise you this right here will be fire for you. All right, so listen, I removed, I turned my fire off, right? You can see, nice steamy. You know what I mean? Uh, starting to, just when you start to touch your veggies and they start to get a little, you know, spongy, meaning they turn it soft. You know what I mean? That's enough for me. And we had already almost finished the, uh, the sausage, so now everything is done. I hit it with a little salt. Got me a little taste and we good. Next thing we're gonna do is, you're gonna take your, your casserole with this. I'm gonna spray this bottom. Don't need a whole lot, you know what I mean? Just enough so there's nothing to stick to it. Now we're getting ready to open up our biscuits, right? Now this is the part that really, uh, that's trippy. Like, since we've been making these biscuits, since you guys have been a kid, you know what I mean? You just never know when this is gonna open up. You know what I mean, when it's gonna pop. Let me know down in the comment section below do you guys still feel like this is like almost like Jack in the Box. So when you peel it, boom. Man, I was not expecting for it to do that. I, usually I'll peel this whole thing off and then I gotta like tap it on something and then it pops, All right? So remember, use your favorite. Let's get these open like this. All right, let's check this out. This is a cool thing, a cool little exercise to do with your family. You know what I mean? You got friends over. If it's a holiday, you got everybody, you know, in the kitchen or hanging around it. You know what I mean? What we wanna do is we just wanna cut these down. You know what I mean? Uh, so let me get these out. You know, you could just take them like this. 
And we just cut them in the, just like that. And then we go ahead and put them in the casserole dish. You know what I mean? Uh, real easy. You know what I mean? I'm doing it technically, technically, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to be honest with you. You can always take them like this. You know what I mean? And put them down. All right, so once you got them in here just like this, right? Then you want to go ahead and take, you know, your sausage, and then you just want to add this just over the top of it. Now, for those of you guys that say you really do that super, what would that be, meaty? You know, you can go ahead and add yourself a little bit more. I even pour the juices in here too, because listen, all of that is flavor, folks. Right? So we get this in here. Just move it around, cover it up. Now, you know, it's like a biscuit. You know what I mean? Uh, when you put this in the oven, it's gonna go. And speaking of the oven, you guys should be going ahead and uh, preheating your oven to 350 degrees. I should have had mine already going, right? So this is what I'm getting ready to do right now. Put that in my sink, move this around. I'm gonna turn around right now. I'm gonna hit my bake, 350. Okay, so now look, I said everything in the bowl that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna go ahead and crack my eggs. Obviously we are gonna do six, right? You guys should be able to mentally put it together of exactly what we're doing right now. All right, so now we got our eggs in here. You got, you want to use a whisk? I mean, we can't do it old school, you know, with the uh, with the fork that works. But I'm gonna be using heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna be measuring out two cups, right? Now I can use whole milk. You're seeing how I'm gonna be using some whole milk. I'm gonna be using some whole milk when I make my gravy, right? So you can do it here also. I just like for, I like the taste and the, the the fluffiness that it gives me. You know what I mean when I add the heavy whipping cream. So now I add that in here like this. All right, and before I do that, we know that we're gonna need a little bit of that salt. Just a generous pinch is good. Just and then we come with a little bit of this black pepper. Now we whisk. Now, before I forget, I was trying to be slick. You know what I mean? Because I love bacon, you guys. So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. You know what I mean? Uh, some of you guys can make it, like if you like it to be crispy, you can. You make your bacon how you want to. We're just gonna sprinkle this over the top, just like this. You know what I mean? Uh, this right here gives it just a flavor. You already got it backed up with the bacon grease, right? So we just, this is like meaty, except for the, uh, except for the, yeah, I guess the uh, biscuit, but this right here feeds a lot of people and it's a filling meal, you guys. All right, so you see we got coverage here, right? So now you come with that cheese that you guys shredded and I want you to look at the size of my cheese. I didn't use the big side of the grater. I like the little small side, you know? You wanna get this a little bit everywhere and then we gonna tie it all in where we just whisk. That's that heavy whipping cream, right? And them eggs, that's what cooks and holds it all. Then you got the biscuits down the bottom. We put the veggies in here. Mm. Hey, listen, I'm over here, you know, drooling, just talking. Now we tie it all in. I'm gonna start this way and work my way to the other side. We just go like this. Now that's a liquid, folks. What it does is it gets everywhere. All right, so we everything is completely covered. I let it sit for like a minute or two, just so it has time for all of the egg mixture to you know, soak inside, touch everything, and tie it all in. Right now, my oven is up to uh, temp. Remember, we had 350. We going in for 30 minutes, folks. All right, so look, I'm gonna let you guys come on in here and look at this right now. I'm gonna pull this out, but look at that right there. Tell me that ain't good. That don't look good right there. That's it. Now, I'm gonna put this back in here. This is that. It's about 30 minutes now, but we gonna go a little longer. Now, you, when it comes to gravy, you got two ways you can do it. For those of us that, you know, have bacon fat and we got it saved, I'm gonna start with bacon fat, or you can use two tablespoons. You can use yourself two tablespoons of, uh, look at that, two tablespoons of butter. All right, so we just go down here just a little bit. Now I start off, when I make my gravy, I start with a medium heat. What I'm trying to do now is just melt my butter, you know, melt my uh, my bacon fat, right? And once it's melted, you know what I mean? I like to just coat everything. Reason being, because I'm getting ready to sprinkle my flour inside, right? So. I take my flour, add a little bit like that, and excuse the noise, folks. Then you wanna just start moving this around, and you wanna make sure you don't have no lumps. And what we wanna do is cook that flour taste out and infuse it with this bacon fat. 
All right, so you see this right here? This is what we want. Now, I'm not trying to brown this like we do in a roux, but it starts off just like we are doing a roux, right? So that's enough for me. Now, this is just whole milk, right? And the real key is just the constant moving and whisking, right? Now, I'm gonna add two cups. This is just one cup. Let me get the rest of it. And then we just keep working this in and we don't wanna stop. All right, so I never stopped, you know, whisking, right? If you look at it, you can see it's starting to thicken up, right? So right here is when I wanna add, you know, like a generous pinch of salt, right? We're gonna add a, just a little bit of these red pepper flakes. It depends on how much uh, heat you guys want. I just put a little bit, right? And then I come with my seasoning. This is my A seasoning. I like to just put a little bit in here, right, like that. Okay, now we don't want this to be too thick, right? As it cools, it thickens up just a little bit more. You guys can always add yourself just a tad bit of uh, milk to it if it gets too thick for you, you know what I mean? Or I got one for you. You can always add a cap full or two of that chicken stock or chicken broth, right? We just leveling up our flavor. We seasoned it just right. I just turned the fire off. You know what I mean? And now we just wait. I'm gonna go ahead and check the casserole to see how it is. You know, as far as uh, sticking it, doing my toothpick taste. I mean, my toothpick uh, check. If my toothpick comes out clean, we're gonna pull it out. All right, so look, I added a little bit of milk to this because it has sat up and I wanted it to cool before I cut it, right? So if you look right now, this is a cool gravy. I like the consistency, you know? So I already made myself a cut here just to verify, make sure. Now I'm gonna come down here. I love the edges on everything, folks. You know I me, mean? I like to get that little crust, but you see that right there? There he is, right? Oh uh, yeah, let me bring it around this way. Just see, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just put it down. And then I can turn this around. You guys can look around at the edge when I'm talking about this right here. Oh yeah. Now, I guess the title of this was called Biscuits and Gravy, right? So let's just go ahead and add this gravy on the top right here like that. Yes, sir. Then we get a little rundown here. All right, so this is it right here. I done took a couple of pictures. This is probably the thumbnail that you guys are gonna see. Look at that. This right here just says what it is. Listen, it's got, you can see the biscuit. We got the gravy on the top. Then we got the rest of the veggies. I'm finna get in here and get down. You know what I mean? But we tied it all in with the egg, which you can see throughout, all right? Now, you're gonna have a little gravy left over. This is the way I elected to do mine. You know what I mean? But look, before I even get to that, look, oh my goodness. And with the cheese and all of that. I don't know why my voice is getting, you know, low and all of that, but check this out. Cheers, y'all. Now this right here is fire. Now listen, I made this three years ago and it got about five million, four million views, something like that. But the difference was this time we added a little bit of the, uh, you know, some veggies. That, if you ask me, that's what was missing. Look, the onion really like ties it all in also. Actually, I guess I'm saying it like this, like everything marries together and ties itself into like this great dish, right? Last time when I made it, I put the gravy on top, then cooked it all, you know, inside of the uh, oven. You gotta do whatever you wanna do, but I just showed you this version. This right here is fire. And since I got a little bit of this gravy left, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this on the top. Take it like this, and we just pour the gravy right on top. So remember, talk to me down in the comment section below. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm eagerly waiting to get in this. I'm getting ready to pour myself a tall, ice cold glass of uh, milk and I'm finna devour that. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to be safe. Enjoy your holiday weekend. And guess what, folks? Like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm out, y'all.